Ultrasonic cleaners are widely used in material testing laboratories to clean test sieves and other instruments. A detergent-based cleaning fluid agitated by ultrasonic energy penetrates the most intricate openings of the immersed objects, quickly removing trapped particles and contaminants. Ultrasonic cleaning is the preferred method for cleaning sieves with fine mesh, especially sieves made with fragile precision electroform mesh. The main challenge in cleaning laboratory test sieves is ensuring a complete removal of prior sample material from the mesh. Fine mesh cloth is especially challenging because of their susceptibility to damage from brushing. Ultrasonic cleaning of test sieves is where the test sieve is placed within the cleaning tank which is filled with cleaning fluid. A small amount of UBA-4 special detergent concentrate produces an effective cleaning fluid for test sieves. Transducers mounted within either the bottom or the side of the tank produce a high frequency sound wave, thereby creating a physical effect known as ultrasonic cavitation, a process that creates millions of microscopic air bubbles in the cleaning fluid. As the bubbles collapse, multiple pressure waves are formed, gently dislodging particles and contaminants trapped within the sieve mesh. An ultrasonic generator attached to the ultrasonic cleaning unit's transducers converts standard electric cycles to the required operating frequency. When in operation, the unit turns electrical energy into mechanical vibration, thereby rapidly expanding and contracting the cleaning tank volume. Upon expansion, the fluid in the tank is compressed. Then a moment later, upon contraction, the fluid within the tank is pulled apart thereby rapidly expanding and contracting the volume of the fluid in the cleaning tank. These microsecond changes essentially lightly scour the whole mesh surface. It's important to know where the transducers are mounted within the cleaning tank's wall. Surfaces closest to the transducers receive the most aggressive cleaning action. Therefore, the sieve should be positioned with the most contaminated mesh closest to the transducers. But as stated before, the cleaning action is multi-directional, so the whole mesh, sides, tops, and bottoms are gently scrubbed. It is also important to be aware of gases within the cleaning fluid. These gases can absorb ultrasonic energy and result in a less effective ultrasonic cavitation. Therefore, it is a good idea to run the ultrasonic cleaning unit for 15 to 30 minutes prior to the cleaning operation to force these gases out of the cleaning fluid for maximum cavitation success. And finally, a sieve basket or holder rack must always be used when cleaning test sieves. Do not allow the sieves to rest on the bottom of the cleaning tank. Not using a basket may damage your test sieves, but also greatly reduce the ultrasonic cleaning action. For any questions about cleaning your test sieves or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.